What if? Giving up sounds like the only option sometimes. On hope. On life. When breathing is the only thing you do right. When the left side of your chest no longer has rhythm, it just beats. Sometimes I'm there. I'm there. I'm there where living is breathing. Where joy is the best at playing hide and seek. You know, like you know, like those silly moments when you promise yourself to not text her, but your fingers still do the texting and claim they are not part of the decision. Or, or you promise to stay off social media. You even post on your timelines and WhatsApp status. I I will be offline, guys. Calls only. But in no time, not a day goes by. You are on Wi-Fi downloading them back. You see that addiction? How you hate it, but still love it at the same time. I'm a Christian, but sometimes it gets to a point where my efforts to righteousness feel pointless. That knowing truth only doesn't change the true persona. In fact, in fact, after so much of back and forth to stand right, it feels so normal, a routine, and impossible to do. Maybe it's because you are fighting with your own strength, they say, to someone who has never learned the art of letting go, let alone letting God. So how easy is it? How easy is it to bear fruit while the root is missing? How easy is it to grow? To tell yourself to keep holding on, to keep fighting battles that always end up in defeat. How much strength does it take for you to carry your cross when you can't even carry yourself? So tell me, do you ever doubt the ability of your strength to fight? How the theory lessons can sound so easy, but but when practicals come, the titration solution doesn't really change color. So does having doubts mean you don't believe? Because <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes questions are the answers for a skeptic.